Mmm. Let the whole world see your morning face. Да, сынок. Да. Вот some honest answers. Как спалось? Хорошо. Sleep well? Yeah. Warm? Yeah. Cold? Yeah. Comfortable? Yeah. Yep. What's the best thing? Tent? Mm. Yeah? Mm. Tent is Plane. good? No, tent is good? Uh, yeah. Because if you didn't have the tent, we wouldn't be so comfortable, yeah. right? How's the, how's the view out of the tent, you guys? Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful blue, bluebird day, folks. It's an excellent, just an excellent day. Look at that grand view right there. Ooh, we're only, what, 40 miles away from it, I think. Just beautiful. Dominic, you having fun? Yeah. So. I, I found a diamond. You found a diamond, nice. So many white diamonds, oh. Water pot is ready. Breakfast is ready. We're gonna do what now? Eat! Eat! <laughs> yes, let's have Yeehaw! some breakfast. Yeehaw! Young man, how's your breakfast? Good. Are you using a fork? Uh, yeah. Are you using a knife? Yeah. Really? Full set, huh? Молодец, кушай, кушай. Чаще не забывай пить. Beautiful day. We decided to do a scrambled egg. Оп, почистить вилку, ложку, ножик вернее. Ой, папа все перебрал. Got it? Дай сейчас дом дал светку. Как там дела у тебя? Хорошо! Стишки делаешь? О! Классно! Having fun? Yeah. Конечно же! Having fun! У нас там Ман Джефферсон прячется за горою, за деревьями. Сегодня просто прекрасная погода. Today is just a beautiful, beautiful day. And the coffee, I think, is ready. So I'm gonna have some кофе. Мы сейчас что пойдем делать? Рыбачить. Рыбачить. Сейчас пойдем рыбачить. So we got our uh, fishing rod set up, got the auger. Man, I don't know why I picked this guy up like this like 10 years ago. I still don't know why I, downside, why I haven't downsized a small one. I think I got the six incher. You see Jeff beautifully looking out there. So we're gonna go uh, find a spot out in the lake and uh, Agar a few holes and see what happens. Что, пойдем порывачим, посмотрим, что там, да, Доминик? We got, we got a... uh... What we got? No? Well, we got an orange. You brain farted, huh? You couldn't think what it was. <laughs> He's like, oh, we got, we got. All right, beautiful day today. Let's see what we can do. You gonna run? One, two, three. Oh, dash! Upal, maladies! Good times! Alright, get up so we can go fishing. Welcome back! For those who don't know about Nixon Channel, Nixon Overland, Adventure Ready, Bud Fabrication, Bud Fab, Bud Woodson. I do all sorts of things. Today I'm out here in the beautiful Cascades of Oregon with my son Dominic. He's right there. Dominic, say hi. hi. We went to camp in, in the beginning of April. So I was uh, able to uh, have some time off work. I am self-employed. So that's kind of a benefit of being able to choose your own schedule. So anyways, I said, hey, you know, work is work, but you gotta enjoy while you can this beautiful outdoors. And it sure is beautiful. So, if you followed up from the beginning of the of the episode, we came out 
to the location. I'm not disclosing it. Don't even bother asking me. If you know it by the video, I ask you not to comment. Uh, everybody should find their own beautiful spots where they can come and enjoy I got being by themselves if they want to. Got two sticks. You got the sticks? Beautiful. Awesome. So, anyways, uh, we've had our breakfast. We've set up our fishing rods for ice fishing. Uh, we had some Oreos and milk. <laughs> uh, you could tell by him. Um, and uh, now we need to get some water because uh, I, I know there's a creek running down here. Um, so I did not bring any water with me because I did not want to carry five gallons worth of weight. So anyways, uh, let's walk over to the creek and find if, see if we can find some water. So that's gonna wrap it up. So, got some water. Let's head back to the camp. This thing remembers the settings. For those who are wondering, I'm using DJI Osmo Action to record. I'm still learning this thing, but it's doing a good job. Woo! So, where's the little man? What are you doing right now? Yeah. Eating Oreos? Are we gonna go check fishing lines? Okay, let's go. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have some water, make sure everything's good at camp, and then we're gonna go check it out, okay? Okay. Давай, давай, пошёл. Пошёл вниз. Off you go! Давай, окидоки, едь. Сейчас я сделаю еще раз. Wow! Oh, windy. You probably hear it on the mic. Woo! I'm gonna shut this off before we get there. I wonder if we have any bites. None of the rods are tinkering. Okay, let's get it going, boy. Давай, мальчик. Давай, малыш, крути. I'm gonna swap out the bait. See that? I'm mean, biting. Okay, stop. Let's get the bait replaced and put something different, okay? Что там делаешь? А? А? What you doing? Well, move it over. Move your body over. Roll it over. To the other side. There you go. Just like that. Yep. Давай. Time to do some work with a 10 inch here. Amazon find, 120 bucks or so. If you haven't seen, I did a review on it on my channel. This thing is very, very, very capable. Very good. I've had a few uh, viewers comment on the fact that you can tune the jets on it or something, I guess, to make it uh, work more efficient or more powerful, whatever. Anyways, gathered up some stuff that was around the camp of the foliage, chopped it up, gathered some branches. I think we'll have a fire for next few days because I think I try to be efficient. The only problem here, it's raining from the trees, yes. So we want to get out to the sunny side where there's no shade. So anyways, uh, this thing goes to work. I mean, it's 10 inch, but it does the job and um, I mean, you have to slice bigger stuff like this. Obviously, you got to go around. Um, but all this little stuff, I was able to just slice right through it with a nice fresh blade. It does a good job. So um, I'll throw a time lapse on right now and let you guys see how I work it. Well, that was a quick time lapse, I think. <laughs> so we got a good pile of wood. You guys got some extra stuff that was chopped up over there that I knew it was there already uh, so this is a forest fire zone I guess a few years ago I'm gonna say what two years ago that a lot of firewood would be that anyways uh, so uh, there's a lot of fallen stuff 
a lot of dry rotted so I mean a lot of times you will find you don't have to cut anything obviously right uh, but there's already stuff on the ground whatever either storm storm dropped like this one was across the road over there um, other stuff that was already pre-cut by I think forest fire or fire crews or whatever around the campsite here so uh oh fire snowball ah oh, snowball fight got you. Oh, I'm gonna get you now gotcha gotcha Papa got good aim uh huh you're gonna hide now so anyways uh what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a Swedish candle a shorty one out of these two so I'm gonna make two Swedish candles uh, I brought some steaks for lunch I think it's about time huh it's like all way past lunchtime. Um, anyways, um, мяско пожарим сейчас на шведской свече. So we're gonna see if I can. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can make it make it happen. For those who don't know, pay attention and uh, you'll find out. So what happens is you take a log, fairly long, about two or three feet long, and you slice it like a pizza pie, vertically or horizontally this way now, and then you set the fire inside. And then you make it like a basically like a man-made stove. So if you uh, research Swedish candle, you'll find out what it's about. And that's how cookie crumbles. As good old Jim Carrey said, right? So split it at least six pie. I like to cut a little opening in there for draft. So the goal is to set fire inside that chamber and once it lights up you can use this as a stove top to do whatever. Make your steaks on a pan, your soup, boil water in your pot, make coffee, whatever. So this is basically a man-made stove. One of the easier way to do this that I know of, but I didn't come prepared for that way is actually what you do is you split the log with your axe long ways right and then you can use either a metal chain or something to hold it back together Ooh, you just get droppings here so I'm gonna start moving towards the truck again so anyways see how that works out if you guys have any questions research Swedish candle at least that's what I've uh, become to know what it's called and the rest is just details so, we got our firewood ready pretty much. I gotta split it a little bit. Uh, and I think we'll be ready for a little campfire uh, towards the night. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. A little windy, but it's okay. Little man seems like he got bored playing in the snow, and we'll see if he's warm. Should be, I guess. He's got his game. His game is on. <laughs> All right, so let's go start the lunchtime. So, just like, hold on, Sina, un momento, let's see, how do I put the camera, I can't put the camera, oh, good enough, um, just like any other YouTuber, or any other guy that creates video content, uh, sometimes I get products from various brands, and I actually got to know Grant, who is with Elusive Outdoor Goods, very cool guy. What he does is he does uh, screen printing and he makes his own certain things like for example a fire starter pack. Honestly I've had this thing for over probably two years. I have no idea how it's gonna work uh, but I thought this was a perfect opportunity to use this. Uh, Grant has done screen printing for me so uh, he made me sweatshirts, t-shirts, uh, caps, um, I do have some adventure ready and bot fabrication bot fab uh, caps available for sale. Feel free to direct, direct message me. You can PayPal the funds or uh, we can find a way of maybe doing a cash up or something uh, through another account or something. But anyways, um, let's give a shout out to Grant with Elusive Outdoor Goods. I don't know how well this thing is getting it, but he makes cool products and he's just a honestly a cool guy and he's local Oregonian uh, out of Sandy Oregon so I mean he's like in the neck of the woods here he's a friend of the area that I'm in if you know what I mean 
Um, so let's see if we can get this thing maybe, uh, I'm going to try to see if I can throw this guy somehow. Where's my opening? Here it is. Oh, so let's make a pause. Are we recording? We're recording. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can stuff this guy in the little opening that I cut in. And see if we can start the fire going, right? Where's the torch? Watch out, son. Where's the torch? It's here. Woo! I thought you were going to So you see I'm applying fire right into that opening, I was going to call it a hole. Короче, кашегарим свечу, посмотрим, что получится. In case you didn't know, my channel is bilingual, it's in Russian and in English. If it's not your cup of tea, so please turn it off right now and go watch something else. I have no problem with that at all. But anyways, if you like this kind of stuff, I try not to mix the languages too much, and I do speak the same thing in both languages when I do. Um, so at this point, we're making a fire. Делаем play. огонь. Let's burn this place. Let's burn this place? How is that going to work? It'll burn this place, honey. I think I'm just going to... I think I'm going to just set the torch. in there and see if that helps. Is this a weird angle or what? You see how the draft and wind and smoke's coming through all the cracks? So these openings are supposed to bring draft up and light it up. So once it lights up in the center, it just comes up here and I already got heat right here. So let's see, give it me a little time and we'll get it going. All right, a little torch persuasion. And I think we got a coal ish, you know, coal thing going on over there. Draft obviously doing its job. We got a little bit of heat here. So while that's working, it's magic. Little guy already slid down. I'm coming! Slid down on a, on a sled. He went down. He's like, let's go, Papa. Let's go check the fishing lines. Let's go check our rods. So we're going to go down to the lake. Stay tuned. Nope. It's still there. So he said it's burning. Look at that smoke. I don't know. Can you see the smoke at the camp? Behind the truck? And honestly, it's a, it's a good looking truck. <laughs> well, it came out real nice. I love the project, how it came out. Honestly, I think R50, uh, R50 model, base, I don't know, whatever, whatever will be the right way to call it, um, is very underrated. Yes, granted that obviously it didn't come out in a quantity like, the, you know, I don't know, Forerunners or, you know, any, any Toyota brands or Jeep brands that came out with a similar mid-size to uh, full-size. It's definitely underrated and you never got that aftermarket support. But hey, you got Nixon and I can guide you the right way. You can buy soft frame drop kit for me. You can buy a full lift kit for me. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make a full. Get up and walk yourself. Uphill you walk on your own. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make uh, skid plates. I'm offering a winch plate. I think I'm gonna start offering even the rear bumper. You know, roof rack, whatever accessories that people are gonna want. Because you know what? I truly believe I'm gonna make it popular enough. And uh, this is gonna be the next 
next cool rig to have. Not because I have it, just simply because it's the one available. Because you know what? Everybody got four runners butt out. I mean, they're freaking overpriced. Link cruisers, can't find one with a candle during the daytime. Uh, what else is there? Cherokees, gone. Everybody knows I love Cherokees. If you watch my channel, you know I love Cherokees. And guess what? This is the Japanese version of Cherokee. Why? It's unibody. It's similarly sized. Gosh darn it, the engine even sounds the same way. It's insane. The only difference is it doesn't have, have a gutter mounts. And it's IFS instead of solid X on the front. But you know what? I believe if you really truly want to go all in, this thing can go on 35s. Obviously with trimming and you know proper lifts and everything. Uh, but this thing I deal on 33s. So I'm pushing 6,000 pounds right now. I'm roughly at 5850 the way it's set up with him and I. I went by through the scales. At that point I did not have my I did have my fuel done. Water was empty. And I was fairly loaded. I still have a canopy in the back. I still have, you know, some of the gear in the back that you don't see usually. So uh, this thing does good. All righty. Uh, look at that. <laughs> see? Woo! I can't even hold my hand over this. This is hot. We got to throw a cast iron over this. Look at that fire in there. Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful. I so, got Huh? <laughs> you got your toys? Happy yeah. man? All right. So next thing, throw cast iron over that. Mmm, we're gonna make a steak that's smoky smell with some thyme and rosemary. Oh, beautiful. Stay tuned. <laughs> Let's uh, make some sparjada. Asparagus. You know what? If you clean up this. Alright, you do that, buddy. If you peel it. What? It's what like is the snow? Easier to eat. Ну подожди, папа делает обед сюда. Папа making lunch. <laughs> it's a tough one. The little guy is like trying to do some stuff with you and you trying to do this. If you ask me about this trip, this trip was specifically for him. I wanted to do one with the little boy, the little man. He's four, almost five. So if I don't spend time with him right now, guess what? That time is going to go away. If you have kids, I highly recommend spending time with them before they get older. I love spending my time with my older girls but this age is definitely something not to just let pass я обещал но мы сделаем когда будет время сыночек сейчас нету времени сейчас надо приготовить побед мы приедем побед потом мы сделаем иглу хорошо мне нам мяско сейчас пожарить потому что мы уже плиту заготовили Хорошо. Хорошо. Мы сейчас будем, мы сейчас будем мяско курить. Ты еще не голодный? Нет. Готовишься уже голодным быть, да? Вот видишь как. Скоро будешь голодный уже. Поэтому папе нужно ahead of the time. Папа needs to go prepare ahead of the time before you get hungry. Because once you're hungry, you're going to be very patient, little man. So you use a potato peeler on the tips of the asparagus. Чистим кончики споржи. Знаете почему? Потому что они потом будут намного вкуснее. Это все в костер пойдет. Окей. Seasoned, good to go. Так. 
Let's see if I can get the stakes out. I need to get to get the phone the charger. Get everything on the charger. If you come out with enough supplies, then you're good. What we're we gonna do? We're gonna have ribeye. We have we have some tenderloin and we have some ribs. Today is gonna be a ribeye lunch. This is going to be beautiful. Look at this. Beautiful piece of steak. Boom. Asparagus. Boom. So our Swedish candle has already fallen apart. Look at that. With all the draft, that thing is burning through fast. So we had to start cooking on it. We had to start cooking our lunch. Just some Montreal steak seasoning. This is a bamboo three quarter cutting board that I made for this whole setup. I have this larger one and I have a smaller one right there. Let's see. Oh, oh this thing is getting hot already. Hey! What's up? Okay, he's got his game on, right? So it's all good. So let's start going sizzling time. See, three holders here, two soldiers here, and one statue. What? While that's cooking, we're gonna get the rosemary and thyme ready. In the green one, or is it the. Mmm, beautiful smell. Let's throw some onions in here. Mmm, smell of the fried onion. Very delicious. A battery swap. Let's see what we got going on here. Whew, a little smoky. Dim will be просто великолепно, I думаю. No, dim просто убивает. Smoke is just whew, making it hard to cook. The time came for rosemary and steak. Let's get this guy in there. Oh, you see, you hear that? Ooh. All right, that's going. Get ourselves a little napkin. Let's throw this delicious stuff on there. Kurt, get out! <laughs> if that's not beautiful, I don't know what else.
I think this thing is about ready to be done. And I think I'm ready to have lunch. Whoop! This thing is falling apart before my steak falls apart. Let's get going. If this is ain't delicious, then I don't know what else is. Mmm. Everything is just 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 right to eat this steak. I'm gonna throw some salt over this and pepper. It's good stuff. And we're gonna have lunch. One of the reasons why I love me some uh, winter camping is because you can have a fire. All right, so as I was saying, well, behind the scenes, we split some wood. You say we because he was helping. Hi, everybody. Good job, Dominic. Maladies, Dominic. Kids, but you teach them the right way and they will grow up doing it the right way so anyways you gotta teach them right away never leave the axe or hatchet on the ground you always put it in a stump so this way you're not looking for it careful of the smoke it's gonna get your eyes good time good time lessons learned beautiful jeff today i don't know i'm, I'm still thinking if i want to fly the drone uh, it's not a dead tree, just a little uh, bush there. Don't pull it, don't pull it. It's okay, you're, not, you're hurting it. Don't pull on it. Okay. It's still alive. When the spring comes, it'll, it'll start blooming. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe tomorrow I'll fly the drone. Today I just, just don't feel like it. Lagoon можно ставить снег. If you put it in the fire, it will just melt and start killing the fire it's okay we can put snow in something else so it's been just a wonderful wednesday nobody here no visitors no wildlife pack it if you can you gotta carry to make sure you're safe uh, because there's a lot of uh, wildlife around you never know you know if kitty cat or a bear or something wakes up so, uh, i'm not sure hun Big, we put it somewhere. Yeshiva. Keep looking for it. It's somewhere around here. Hey, what are we gonna do? We're gonna check if we got the fish. If we got the fish. Yeah. Well, let's go check out the fish. Let's go. Let's go. Got really wet. You gonna pull or what? Let's pull. Okay. Давай, reel it in. What are we doing? Let's see if it bite, bites. Oh, shrimp excusala. Shrimp excusala. It ate the shrimp. Well, left the worm. That's interesting. Okay, let's put a new bait on it, okay? Okay. 